Hello, Dougal, said Florence. Hmm, said Dougal. What? said Florence. Any minute now, said Dougal. Shush. What are you looking at? said Florence. Eh? Hmm, said Dougal. I'm waiting for my alarm call, and it should be going off any minute now. Oh, said Florence, the alarm clock. Tick tock, 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 tick tock. Well, said Dougal, are you going to ring or not? What time did you set it for? asked Florence. Just about now, said Dougal, and hid behind the tree again. Tick tock, 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 tick tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. Hmm, said Dougal coming out a little. It's very loud when it happens, you know. Yes, very loud indeed. Right, said Florence. Thanks for warning me. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock tick. Hello, said the clock. I'm the speaking clock. <laughs> well, why don't you say something then, said Dougal. What do you want me to say, said the clock. Oh, I don't know. At the third stroke it will be, or something like that, said Dougal. At the third stroke it will be, or something like that. <laughs> said the clock. Tick tock. Hmm, said Dougal suspiciously. He's just trying to lull us into a false sense of security. I'm going back behind the tree. He's just trying to get us all relaxed and confident with his ticking. And then when we're not expecting it, he'll suddenly go off. Why do you need an alarm call anyway? asked Florence. So I can get up and have my breakfast, of course, said Dougal. Look here, alarm clock, old chap, said Florence. Are you going to go off or what? because my friend here wants to have his breakfast. Yes, said Dougal. I might, said the clock. <laughs> Bring, said Brian. Ha ha, fool you. You thought I was an alarm clock, didn't you? Early to bed and early to rise makes a snail healthy, wealthy and wise, said Brian. Hello, Brian, said Florence. Hello, said Brian. Had your breakfast yet? Funny you should say that, said Dougal. I'm waiting for my alarm call and the suspense is killing me. Maybe you forgot to wind me up properly, said the clock. Maybe you left my safety catch on. <laughs> yes, maybe you did, said Florence. Oh, yes, said Dougal. I might have forgotten that. <laughs> ah! There, I told you, I told you he was playing tricks on us. Sorry, said the clock, I won't do that again. Ah, oh, oh, I hate that. Well, at least you can have your breakfast now, said Florence. Oh, it gets me every time. Gives me the willies, that clock, said Dougal. Sends shivers down my spine. Never trust a travelling clock. Now, breakfast. Ah, nice bit of sugar. Dip it in blackcurrant juice. Lovely. Sugar for breakfast, said Florence, it's very bad for your teeth. Not for dogs, said Dougal, lying. Well, don't say I didn't warn you, said Florence. Zebedee. She's right, actually, said Zebedee. You should have muesli or wholemeal toast or something. Something to put the roughage in your rough. Come on, said Florence. I might go off again, said the clock. I said I might go off.